Welcome back to Judo Breakdowns, your source for judo commentary on the internet. And what I have for you today is a match from the Grand Slam in Tel Aviv 2022 in the women's under 70 uh, category. In the white, we have Hilde Jaeger from the Netherlands. And in the blue, we have uh, Avia Balka from Israel. So the competitors are just getting on the mats now and we'll join them in action. So right now, okay, sort of... Both, you know, and I both failed the tax there, really. N nothing really to comment on there. Um, I don't know if that would really be a Maki Komi attempt there from Avia or Avia. I'm going to say Avia. Maybe we're getting a penalty soon. Oh, yeah, a penalty to Avia. I think on the false attack. And the same side grip from Avia. And uh, yeah, so what type of throw? Okay. Yes. Not much to comment on. I mean, it's, it's sort of, hmm. It's a bit of a mess in terms of what I'm seeing here. So, okay. I shouldn't say mess. It's not a mess. It's just, you know, uh, these these attacks aren't really very credible. I mean, these are Uchimata attempts from uh, Hildy. So, I have to give credit where credit is due. She is attacking. Um, I don't know what it is. That's something that seems off. Okay. And Avia is being penalized again for the uh, stiff arm. Maybe that's maybe that's what's throwing me up. <laughs> it looks worse than it really is, but these are sort of probing. Uh, oh, is that going to be enough for Wazari? I don't think so. She was more onto her belly than anything. Yeah, and she's not aware of the the uh, the Wazari there. So, but good attack from uh, Ivia. I think that there's something definitely there that she's the Uchimata. I don't think is there. Oh. Almost, almost on the counter. I that's probably the best road for Avia to be honest. Is just to punish Hildy for the really sort of lackluster Uchimata attempts. I don't know what that was, and I don't know if that can. Okay, yeah, it's gonna let that go, but I don't think that's a real attack. Okay, she's grabbing the same side, so she has to attack now. Yeah, that's not what. No, I don't. What? Okay. <laughs> sort of just almost like a koala bear in a way. Like, it's not a real attack. That's not going to throw anybody. <laughs> okay. I, w I, I think for Evia, she has to punish these weak, weak Uchimata attempts by Hildy. And the way you do that is to... Oh, okay. Yeah, This I think this is going to be it. This is going to be it on Cheetos for Avia. Yeah, this is going to be it. Yeah, okay. You know what? You're down two penalties. You've attacked almost zero. I mean, credit to Hildy in terms of like keeping the activity up. And uh, I think there was a very clear opportunity for Avia to win this in uh, recognizing the Uchimata as not being very strong, but uh, not countering or not make it, not pun it like what i like to think of it is if you're going to come in with a weak weak throw it's on the person that's uh getting attacked by that weak throw to make them pay right make them pay for the weak attack with a strong counter right say fine you want to come in with that take the risk the risk has to be materialized at some point so that's something that i think you know avia has to look, come back look at this match realize that that was available many times and that really, she did nothing uh, for that, right? And sort of these weird, you know, leg wrap attacks, same side. They, they had basically zero chance of ever working. And, uh, you know, congratulations to Hildy for the win. You know, you get the win. You were never really in any threat to lose. And, uh, you know, she moves on. Those are my thoughts. If you have any thoughts of your own, please leave a comment. That'd be great. If you enjoyed this match uh, and this video, consider hitting like and subscribe. And until next match, 
Have a great night.